Sword pull. There's no point in throwing a tantrum. You're still gonna have to do it. You get almost all the attention, kid. Change this fucking child. I'm going crazy. I this was a mistake. Three infants, two toddlers. This was a mistake. Everything is starting to fall apart. Everything's going to hell. This is not very fun right now. Okay, um, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. And I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Here's the thing. There, the, the CC, the custom content for infants, was starting to come out. And I wanted to go and get some. But my computer has been having a storage problem lately, which I've mentioned before. I've been having trouble with my storage space. And so the biggest files on my computer are these episodes of The Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge. Because the program I use, the videos take up a lot of space. So <laughs> stupid me decided that I was going to delete the next part. Just put it in the recycling bin and leave it there until I was done getting CC and then I would put it back. Because I was getting the, uh, I got the Sims tray importer to go through all my custom content. Whenever I go through my custom content, I always only go look at what's broken or not, to, or making my Sims invisible because those are very easy to spot. What I do not do is Look for things that might be a conflict, but you wouldn't know unless you search for it. Like, it's not easily spot. Or CC that I don't want anymore. I have so much custom content that I do not want. I have no idea where it came from. And it's just there because going through custom content one by one when you have thousands of them is not worth it. And I used to have the Sims Tray Importer, but, and it would probably wasn't the Sims Tray Importer, but I thought it was. My, after I used it, my game wouldn't work anymore. I couldn't click on anything. I would go into the file, it would load up if you could find, but I couldn't click on anything. And I thought it was because the Tray Importer messed up my files. So I just found one of my sister's Easter eggs. Um, I just, I, I thought the Sims Tray Importer had messed up all my custom content. So I had to delete everything and start from the very beginning of getting CC. And so I was scared that was gonna happen again, but it was the only fast way I could go through all my CC. And in order to have room for the infant CC, I needed to get rid of some of mine. But I didn't have enough storage space to copy all my CC and paste a copy of all of them because I was scared that the sim tray importer was gonna screw up my files again. So I wanted to take a copy of all my CC and put it in a different folder so that if it did, I wouldn't have to delete everything. I could just take the backup and put it in the mods file. But I didn't have enough storage space, so I deleted the next part of my 100 Baby Challenge. And then when I went to CC shopping, before that actually, sorry, I'm jumping ahead. I'm all confused. Um, when I went to use the Sims tray importer and I had a whole bunch of stuff to delete. I put it on the recycling bin and stupid me emptied the recycling bin, forgetting that the next part of the 100 baby challenge was in there. And it was a big one because the next baby was born in it. And so um, if you're all confused by this video, then yeah, that's why. Um, it's only 9.30 at night, so I'm gonna do another episode right now. She just used her diaper. Okay, could you change her? You're the night nurse. This is your job. You're not here to live a good life and drink from the bar. You're here to take care of the babies at night and clean the house during the day. Which reminds me we can cancel the maid. So poor mom can finally get like a whole night of sleep. Why are you up? Why is your energy all the way up at 4 o'clock in the morning? I do not think so. But she is a heavy sleeper.
We really have to potty train this kid. And now mom is fully good. She's fully rested. Not a lot of fun, but... Okay. This one needs to be fed soon. But I'm more concerned about this one. She needs a bath. Okay, good. You're up. Great. You go to the bathroom and take a shower. Then you can go and get yourself something to eat. And you just have to wait a second. Me mama should have made... Oh, okay. Here. You know what, now that the house is actually clean, I don't know if we need the living maid. Did you have to come all the way here to wash your hands, Noah? There was a sink in your bathroom. Do you need to be changed? I'm locking you in here because I don't want you wandering around the house when you should be sleeping. The kids are school in an hour. You're just gonna chill out here for a second. <laughs> this one needs to be fed. Okay. Um, it's fine. Maybe before the night nurse gets off, we're gonna have her make breakfast for the kids. Where do you think you're going? You're gonna wait here until mom changes you. You only have level one movement, so mom's gonna have to bring you home. Bring you downstairs. What's going on with you? You don't have much time until school, so I suggest you eat. Huh. Okay. Mm. No, because strict rules and high standards bring up good children. Or at least that's what I believe. Now, I don't believe being too strict is good. Like, I believe you should have conversations with your children, understand their feelings, understand where they're coming from, set rules that are fair, set boundaries are fair, don't ask too much of your kids. I believe all of that. But I do believe that by putting your foot down, enforcing the rules, and letting them know that they're not going to get away with any bullshit, is the best way to raise a kid. Okay, I just wanted to touch on that before I get yelled at. I know I don't have any kids, so I can't say anything about parenting. I'm just going by my own personal experience. Okay, here's the thing. I was raised by three different people. My mom spoiled me senseless. I got everything I wanted with her. I was very spoiled, undisciplined. And I was a big, huge brat. I was a brat. I was brat. But yeah, but when I moved in with my dad's parents, my dad's parents were very strict. Especially my grandmother. Very strict. In this house, you had chores, and if you didn't do them, you heard about it. You, There was rules. There was a lot. There, she was extremely strict. 
Okay, to the point where, like, I couldn't go over to anybody's house if she didn't know their parents. I couldn't have anybody over. Um, that was a rule. No friends over. It was strict. And within a month of being there, my behavior completely changed. Now, I wasn't perfect. Oh, my God, no. Don't believe that. I tested her a lot. But... And everyone I have asked has said the same thing, that my behavior got much better when I started living with her because of how strict she was. I had to follow rules. I had to learn to live with the rules. I was told no a lot. And so my behavior changed. And because of that personal experience, that is why I say that the best way to raise a child is by being strict. Because if it was, if I had never gone to live with her, I would still be an ungrateful, spoiled, rotten brat. So, but she was also like very, very strict, which is why I also say that being too strict isn't good either. It did make me resent her a little bit. Our, our relationship actually got much better when I moved out. Like when I lived with her, I tested her a lot because I didn't like how strict she was. I felt it was too much. Like, I couldn't even have friends over. And so, that's why I say strict is best, but not too strict. So, I just wanted to touch on that. Okay. She can bring herself downstairs, but she can't, so... Well, I'm just going to get to her just in a second. Okay. We're going to try to build some friendship with the next baby daddy today, even though it's going to be a while before we're going to get pregnant again. But I feel like if we get it out of the Me way, too. then we're not really going to be in a rush when the time comes. Last Aww. chance we're going to forget. Go <laughs> serve some breakfast. Well, well. I said no. Uh -huh. Okay, this, oh, this baby is hungry. Okay, well, everyone's kind of hungry right now. So, mom's making breakfast for these two. Then she's gonna feed oh. this one who's been waiting for a while. And then she will go upstairs and feed Kaysen. Sorkle! There's no point in throwing a tantrum. You're still going to have to do it. What do you think you're doing? No. You're not eating cake for breakfast. Mm. It's your little tush back on the chair. Mom has almost finished your meal. What? Some other kids threatened Levi and took his lunch money? Find the kid or I will! Okay, <laughs> can you just come feed her please? Stop crying. Your mom can't feed you if you're crying. I don't know why, but she can. Just do it. Efficient newborn care. Come on in the little play baby area. Have a fun day.
Okay, I'm pretty sure you didn't do it right, so feed, bounce, change diaper, feed, bounce, and change diaper. Take a nap. Do you need to take a nap? Nope, you're good. What you do need is to be potty trained. So when she's done feeding Scott, she will go and potty train uh, Andrea finally. And this one's fine. I was going to have her work on her friendship with the next potential baby daddy, but she really needs some fun, so I think I'll just let her have a chill day. Like, everything is going well, so... She is hungry. You're not gonna get cake. You can have bacon and eggs. Bad potty. No attention left. Okay. You get almost all the attention, kid. She goes, yeah, but I'm going to be a kid student. I'm going to get no attention. What's wrong with him? Ah, uh, he's sick. But it looks like he's almost over it. Okay. <laughs> Then you need to use the bathroom, and while you have a chance, just like, fill your needs. Okay, this is like the best way to get their fun up, I think. Noah is back home. No need to make room on the refrigerator. He's worth set factory. And Levi is the same thing. Now, hold on. The kids, uh, Noah brought home a picture the other day, and I kind of forgot to look at it because we had no... Aw, it's a unicorn with glasses. It is so cute. Okay. Did you bring anything home today? You did. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Um, Lebe's homework is done for today. Okay. No, his homework is done for today. Okay, you kids can do whatever you want. This one needs to be changed. I'll get to it later. It's just a chill day. That's nice. Just to have a nice chill day. You don't need to wash your hands. Oh my gosh, you annoy me so much with that. Alright, and then I think you can go and have some fun. Can you get in here? Good. <laughs> it's okay, I gave you permission to answer the door.
What's wrong with you? Alright, thank you. Why can't she have any? There we go. Stop trying to sleep. Actually, this one needs to be bathed. You're sick. Oh, I hate the illnesses, they're so annoying. No, when you're talking, you don't eat all the way. Are you gonna give her a bath? Good, thank you. You guys are done? Your hunger is not all the way up. Oh. Whatever, just come to bed, please. Off to bed. Did we get a notice saying it was a twin's birthday? Oh, she walked in on Levi. Sorry, buddy. Okay, she is giving little June, forgot her name for a second, a bath. Ah, perfect. It's time to eat up the twins. Okay, are you like almost done your bath? She's good now. You can go ahead and put her to bed. What are you doing? You're not supposed to be sleeping in here. You are supposed to be sleeping in here. Why does she still smell? Fine. I thought the bath took care of that. Guys, you need to go to bed. You are way past... Your bedtimes. Change her diaper. Put her to bed. Age up the twins. And then you're off. Okay. Obviously, you're not listening. Change, baby! <laughs> then put her to bed. It's not rocket science. Change 
change her. No, change her. Change her. You're not going to bed until she's changed. And hurry out before your babies are taken away. Change her. And then put her to bed. Actually, you know what? It's making me anxious. You can come out. And feed the babies. Put her in her crib. Her crib. How hard is this for you to understand? This is basic parenting. I hope you pee yourself. Go eat. I want you to age them up in the correct order. Annoying sounds. Okay. Jason. Oh, not Wiggly again. Calm. Age up this one. Now. See, it's always wiggly. Sunny. Great. You can go have a sandwich and then bed. That the nanny isn't going to be teleported out of the house. I'm hoping she's still going to be there so I can just re add her to the household. Because MC Command Center doesn't work with infants yet, you if you want to put them in creative setting, you have to do the old fashioned way with the mirror or a dresser. And if you have more than eight sims in your house, that will delete a member of your household. With MC Command Center, you can do it individually instead of the whole household together. But that doesn't work with infants because MC Command Center doesn't work with infants. So, I kicked the nanny out so that I could change the infants and create a sim. One of the many reasons I love MC Command Center and can't play without it. Uh, it looks like the nanny's not here anymore. <sighs> well, at least her name was an A. And when the MC, when they updated the MC Command Center, they also made it alphabetical. Which, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
I absolutely hated having to go through every sim in existence to get to the one I was looking for. And sometimes I'd have to search five, six times before I found them. So thank you for finally making it alphabetical. Thank you so freaking much. It makes things so 10,000 times easier. See, like it used to go by town or I don't even know. And sometimes I'd have to go five, six, seven thousand times looking for the one sim. And now I just go, okay, her name starts with an A. Here she is. Easy. Thank you so much for making alphabetical. I've been complaining about it not being alphabetical for so freaking long. Thank you. Okay, Mom. You can go to bed. Oh, Ruby. Okay, you can put her down and come sleep. Feed and change diaper. <laughs> you didn't do what you were told. I told you to shower. to have been a toddler for a very long time. When is she aging up? Okay, not that long. Yep, we got another spitter in the house. That's lovely. Have a grip. day we're gonna have three infants and two toddlers. This is gonna be fun. Yes, children, once you are done you will go in the play area. You will eat here. That is why I put chairs. You take so long to walk that it's gonna take you two hours to get up there. Eat on the chair. No. Don't test me. I will let like not let you eat. Why would you go the long way? Yeah. <laughs> Just go the fast way. Come over where your mother is. Of course she's not doing what she's told. How hard is it to go change this one? You have more than one kid. Leave the ones that are fine and change the one that isn't. Why 
Why aren't you sleeping? Change this fucking child. Go on. No, this one's fine. Leave him. Why are you scared? Great. Why are they all starving? I just fed them. Chaos. We've got this. This is fun. But I'm confused because I thought we just fed these damn kids. <laughs> I hate when they're sleeping. I can't tell her to feed them. Broken? I am going crazy. I'm going crazy. I this was a mistake. Three infants, two toddlers. This was a mistake. Everything is starting to fall apart. Everything's going to hell. This is not very fun right now. No, we are not doing any of this shit. You are giving her a bath, and that is the end of it. The mate's just staying there doing nothing. Okay. Please, as quickly as possible, give Sienna a bath. Great, the older ones are going to be home. Hi, boys. Homer's done. Homer's done. Have fun. Do whatever you want. Oh. At some point, I'm going to have to feed them. So is this one. And she's tired. Okay, I'm going to have her first so that we don't have to battle her while she's, like, exhausted. So... <laughs> Oh. 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 
Where are you going? Wake up. Your turn. And Benny the Bath is... I can't even remember anybody's name. June. Sorry, June. Sweet June. Where's Noah? I told you to eat the pizza. I don't. Why does nobody listen to me? Uh, you know what? I'm okay not making another episode tonight. Because not only does mom need a break from her kids, I need a break from her kids. Okay, the babies need so many things. I'm ending the episode here. I'm exhausted. I'm going to bed. Um. So this was fun. Not really. Tomorrow, thank God, Mom's getting a break from the little monsters. And poor Noah and poor Levi are finally going to get some attention from Mom. Because Mom is leaving the kids with her. And taking Noah and Levi out for the whole day, just them. We're going to fill up everybody's needs in the morning to make sure that there's no mishaps straight away. So they at least get a few hours before the nanny decides she doesn't want to do nothing. Um, and then Sunday, potential baby daddies. But that is it for this episode. I cannot take another second of this right now. Even I, who love kids, need a break. Sometimes. Willing to babysit triplets? No. Willing to have triplets? No. If I had triplets, one of them is getting placed for adoption. I can handle two babies. Three? Apparently not. I mean, obviously I would not, like, give up one of my kids if we were alive, but, like, it was a joke. Just don't take that seriously, please. But, yeah, um... Yeah. All right, just a little refresher. We now have seven kids, which means because I'm doing seven at a time, even though I have MC Command Center, that means no more babies until Noah moves out. I know we have nine, but that's just because of the maid. I'm just allowing that. I don't want to put it down to six children. That's going to take too long. I, I like the seven. It's just um, a pain in the ass to have more Nathans in the household because you can't move them to a new household the, the normal way because they'll say your household is too big. So if there's, when Noah moves out, if there's more than eight Sims, more than nine Sims, it's going to not let me move them out the normal way and I'm going to go through this whole ass trouble to get them to move out. It's not worth it. So seven at a time, we now have seven kids. We are, we have two kids, Noah, who is the son, who is a science baby, I keep forgetting, and then we have Levi, who is the son of Simon, and then we had Andrea, who is the son of Hayes, and then we had Sienna, who is the son of this guy, who is married. He wasn't married when we hooked up with him. All right, and then we had June, who is the daughter of Messiah. He's the one who didn't want to get us pregnant. He wasn't interested in us. So I forced him by using MC Commander to have a pregnancy with him. And then we have Kason and his twin brother, Scott, the surprise twins, who are Christmas sons. The next baby daddy is going to be this guy. I can't pronounce his name. Um, but he's going to be the next one. And we have to find some more potential baby daddies. That is it. That is all. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you went as crazy as I did. Because I don't want to be alone. 
Um, and let me know how you guys are enjoying infants. And if you guys have tried the 100 Baby Challenge with infants. And if you guys have lost your minds doing the 100 Baby Challenge with infants. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.